right, now that I got my pounding headache out of the way, I think my body's immune to Tylenol, but like right now I literally have the worst headache in the entire world. I have to do so many things today, so like now is not the time to be in pain. So I hope that that Tylenol is going to save my ass because this ass needs saving. Let's begin our day of doing 9,000 things at once while running on absolutely no sleep. You're going to be surprised to hear that I'm actually starting my day off right now by getting a coffee. Yes, you heard that correctly. I am getting a coffee. But the only reason why I'm getting a coffee is because I'm going to this place that my friend works at and she makes it like so magically. Like it doesn't even taste like coffee. It tastes like I'm just drinking sugar. That's the first thing I'll be throwing my money out of the window for today. All right, I'll be back with coffee. <laughs> Hell yeah, look at my coffee. So I asked my friend what it is. It's a caramel swirl, so in case anyone cares what I drink when I get coffee now, but it's honestly so good. I literally just drown it with sugar, basically, so that it's sweet enough that I like it. Honestly, good shit. I got a cinnamon sugar bagel as well. I love doing a haul. Okay, so now that I have that out of the way, what do I have to do now? I need to go get my nail fixed because I literally got my nails done last week, but I've already somehow managed to break a nail because I just am a freaking mess. I really just don't want to go to the nail salon right now. It takes so long. I just don't want to do it. After that, I need to go... Where do I need to go? I have to go somewhere, I have to go do something. I'm gonna go to my PO box. Oh yeah, maybe I should announce this. I'm doing a meetup next week. You guys have been asking for so long for a Boston one and I know this is completely irrelevant to people who don't live in Boston. I need to switch lanes like immediately. Saturday, August 25th at three o'clock p.m. at Faneuil Hall in Boston near Sephora. I know all the information, I'm so intelligent. It's gonna be me, Jake, Caitlin, Sam, and Cam. So come hang out with us. Let's loiter at Faneuil Hall together and get arrested. I need to play the Backstreet Boys right now before I literally throw a fit on this highway. You wanted to be good, girl. You a bad boy. salon I really don't feel like going in right now like I really just don't want to get my nails done but I'm gonna do it anyways actually I'm gonna eat my bagel first because I really need to eat my bagel so I'm gonna do that I will see you guys once I have this finger back on my finger I will talk to you in a minute Oh, ow. oh my god, I almost just broke one of my nails on the door. That actually literally only took me 30 minutes. Like, thank god. Look at her. She's back and better than ever. Aww. They actually gave it to me for free, which is amazing. I literally love my nail salon. I'm seriously gonna pee my pants right now, but what am I gonna do about it? Nothing. I'm gonna go right to Target because I need to return something. Okay, here we go to Target. Do I just listen to NSYNC? Like, I might as fucking well. Wait. <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot to actually explain this. As I was in the nail salon, someone tweeted me and goes, okay, not to sound weird, but story time, I literally just saw you vlogging in your car and I'm sorry I was so slow getting off the exit ramp. Let me put back in the clip of what I was doing when I was at the exit ramp. In that moment, I was like, wow, it'd be so funny if just someone happened to see me. So I like kind of like paced myself from the car next to me so that no one would see me like, you know, going hard. And of course, the person in the car in front of me happens to look back and I've been spotted. So that's just amazing. Actually, I'm gonna tell you this story as I drive to Target. There was this one time where it was like a couple weeks before Coachella, I was at a stoplight in my town and I was just going to absolute town on partition, okay? Like how do you listen to partition by Beyonce and just not lose your mind? Like, I don't know. People who can do that are fucking weird. So I was doing all the hand jives and the person in front of me started like waving their arm out of their car and I was like, what is going on here? And I started to drive a little bit more and the person was like driving really slow in front of me and I was like, I don't know what's happening. Like, is there something wrong with my car? Are they trying to tell me that like my car is falling apart? Is my car on fire? Like what's happening here? And so I switched lanes because I'm like, my car must be breaking down. Like I have to pull over. Like, I don't know what's happening here. So I get onto the other side of the road. I rolled down my window to try to communicate with the person next to me. It's my fucking freshman year English teacher who like I'm really close with actually. Like we're Facebook friends. Yeah, he's one of those teachers that you keep up with after high school. And he literally was just laughing his ass off over how insane I was going. And then ever since then, every time I like visited him during school, I always just waltzed into his class in the middle of the day because senior year, I just was never in any of my own classes. So I would waltz into his class and every time I walked in, he'd be like, oh, there's Beyonce's dancer. And I would have to tell the story in front of all of his classes every single time I walked into his class. So 
yeah, it's kind of just a thing that I am just a natural born dancer, choreographer when I'm in my car. I'm just great at causing a scene. I should probably stop driving my car and I should take the bus everywhere. Does anyone else have like those mini buses in their town where it's like dial a ride or something like that? I should really consider taking those so that I can act like more of a normal functioning human being. I forgot I was listening to NSYNC. We're gonna have to restart that song and turn baby way back up. born performer like even though I really can't sing should I just say fuck it and go on tour like my tour would be so much fun you don't even understand the outfits I would be wearing I'd be wearing a bodysuit on stage I would have rhinestone leggings actually my bodysuit would also be rhinestone I would have the tallest stiletto heels ever my ponytail would be fucking unreal I would have ponytail extensions because fuck my body dysmorphia with this short ass ponytail you know I would have my ponytail back I'd have the biggest hoop earrings in the entire world actually you know what this reminds me of? Someone commented on my Club Penguin video the other day and they were like, since you didn't make it on Club Penguin, you're now trying to get famous for looking like a cheap hooker. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> like you've got me. <laughs> I'm actually an expensive hooker, so. That's right, you have to have bands to, Never mind. this conversation's over. I'm pulling up to Target. You know what song that reminds me of? We on that expensive hooker shit. If you know your pussy worth a binge truck, rich sex. Don't let homie fuck unless he hands up, rich sex. Um, I'm back from Target and I'm facing a dilemma. I think I have lost both of my P.O. Box keys. That dilemma didn't last long, thank fucking God, because I really didn't feel like paying for new P.O. Box keys, but okay. So that's what we're gonna go do now. I just haven't been in so long, so I just like wanna do that now, so. Hi, okay, really fast. I'm so sorry that my sticky boob is just always out of my shirt. It literally bothers me so much that I never know when it's creeping on out and I can't fix it because it's already filmed and I'm editing the video so I can't jump into the video and pull my shirt up. So, I'm sorry if that bugs anyone else as much as it bugs me. I think we're used to this by now. My sticky boob is literally always falling out of my shirt, but yeah, sorry, I just suck. Let's figure out how to get there. P.O. Box. Why did I just type in P.O. Box into my Google Maps? That's simply not how you travel. Oh yeah, Project X, baby, we're fucking turn right now. <laughs> just tried so hard to pull up next to my car. I tried to ignore him for so long and I finally look over at him because it looks like he's going to crash into my car. Oh yes, now he's of course getting into the lane right in front of me. Yep, so he can slow down in front of me. Perfect. So he looks at me and he goes and just gives me the ugliest kiss ever and his hair was spiked and he had frosted tips so he kind of was giving me Guy Fieri, Justin Timberlake vibes but like I am just so uncomfortable like he's so much older than me and he's really just in front of my car now i can't wait for him to take the same exit as me honestly i can't wait for him to follow me home i can't believe i got yes yep yep he's taking the same exit as me of course literally of course i will not be pulling up next to him i'm going to go directly behind him Um, oh my god, okay. This is what happens, I guess, when I don't go to my P.O. Box for a whole week. I have so much stuff. First off, I have something from Saudi Arabia. Like, what? Oh my god, that's like insane. Okay. I'm like actually like about to cry from this. It's so cool just like 
reading a letter from someone from literally Saudi Arabia. Like, I can't even ever imagine, like, even visiting that place. And the fact that there's just people so far away from, like, my own home that know about me and watch my videos and, like, are affected by me in, like, a good way is just insane. This girl's telling me all about, like, her life and her culture and everything. That's just absolutely amazing to me. I fucking love the internet. Ha, <laughs> this says skinny scamming legend. She goes, I hope this binder paper doesn't give you flashbacks to high school. Plot to assist, it does. Shout out to Brenna for this. Thank you so much. Okay, this one is from Erin. Oh man, <laughs> it's not looking good for my emotional well-being. <gasps> this girl said that she wants the same tattoo as me. That's so cute. Oh my God. This is truly a workout. How to open letters by me. Oh my God. Look at the oh. owl. That's so cute. Oh my God. Shout out to Denitza. I fucking hope that's how you pronounce it. If it's not, feel free to throw a tomato at me. She literally says, this letter took me 43 minutes to write and like it's not that long. So like that's literally me. I can't even do like the simplest tasks. Hello. Tasks whatsoever like everything is a goddamn production for me so girl i fucking feel you <gasps> what is this Ooh, this girl sent me earring backing she has her own little company that's called oh snap silicone magnetic earring backs and honestly this reminds me that i need to start putting earrings in my other three holes in my ears because i honestly think my ears are about to close up which is the biggest fucking issue so yeah thank you for this i will probably do that when i get home i smudged my nail opening a letter i also just ripped this letter everything's going great for me oh my god i literally just ripped this letter in half i'm literally going to hell this girl goes your videos make me so happy and excited for high school you must be watching the wrong channel because my videos make people hate high school oh my god her next line is i can see you laughing at me right now so let me explain you people know me so well oh she goes your advice is completely different than whatever anyone else on youtube says but you're so right that's interesting because the other day someone commented on my video and it's been kind of bugging me and it said like never take high school advice from someone that hates high school but i feel like most people who come to youtube and like are always watching videos and everything to get advice on high school are the people that don't like high school and need help and advice to get through it i don't know i just try to be honest with you guys about my high school experience like i haven't told you nearly close to all of what happened to me throughout high school which makes me hate it so much just because i didn't like it doesn't mean my advice is valid for someone who doesn't love high school i guess i mean i still give you tips on like making friends and all that stuff even though having friends is stupid because everyone fucks you over in the end but like i don't know that was my fun little rant thanks for listening i keep sniffling because the first letter literally made me like almost cry oh my gosh hello okay i opened that incorrectly oh my god this girl goes i really appreciate the fact that you express your love for justin timberlake out in the open you are proud of it because of that i express my love for all of my faves out in the open and i don't care what anyone thinks about it thank you so much honestly you're welcome people always tease me about it for so long but it's actually kind of funny because at the end of high school I don't know if I've ever put this in a video but my school actually did a skit about me and Jake and I was made fun of for it like in a good way about my love for Justin Timberlake it's actually kind of funny I'm gonna put it right here oh my god what oh my god what is happening oh my god what I just watched Justin Timberlake <laughs> <laughs> and like it's not even one of those things where i'm like oh what the fuck they're making fun of me like it's literally funny i guess own up to your passions and you'll have a skit made about you i don't know where i was going with this oh my god i'm the girl who started the gofundme when you cut your hair and that's so funny i wish that was still a thing okay last one and then i promise i'll go do something else <gasps> oh god oh my lord i opened this letter and it was oatmeal and justin timberlake i'm gonna throw up oh god he's so cute oh no this girl hit me with the fucking holy trinity one direction jimmy fallon justin timberlake it's fucking over for me it's not looking good oh my god okay i'm gonna try to get through this letter i'm gonna have to like hold my eyes open that's all of my mail today. I've officially made a giant trash can out of the back of my car, which is amazing. But thank you guys so much for sending all of that. That was so cute. That was really fun. Oh my God, I'm overwhelmed. What do I do next? Why is my sticky boob always out? As much as I love flashing everyone, why do I always do it? My mom just texted me and said, did you get a birthday cake? It's simply not my birthday. Oh my God, it's my dog's birthday. What? Oh my God, crap, I didn't know. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Okay, then my mom just said, nice mommy, you forgot. And then I said, where do I get one? She goes, no, it was kidding. And then I go, no, I need to get her one. She goes, she can't have freaking cake. Um, if it's my dog's birthday, of course she can have cake. What are you talking about, mom? All right, I don't know where to go now. I think I'm gonna go to the bank. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the bank right now. I just drove by these girls doing a lemonade stand and I have this rule where if I drive by 
little kids doing a lemonade stand, I have to turn around and I have to go to it and I have to buy lemonade because it's not too often that you see kids in this generation going outside and doing lemonade stands instead of playing Fortnite. So now I am pulling my car over, I am turning around and I'm going to go get lemonade, <laughs> which is probably not the best idea for me right now because I really need to pee, but like, I honestly feel like I'll have such bad karma if I don't turn around and go to this lemonade stand because I know how fun lemonade stands were like when I was a kid my whole entire day would be made if people bought lemonade for my lemonade stand you know just another day in the life trying to be a good person going absolutely out of my way whatever like I went like they get my cash and then I get lemonade that could be roofied you never know kids these days are always up to something they're so cute hi how much is it Okay, here, here's three dollars. You can keep it. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Good luck, guys. Thank you. I love paying three dollars for the tiniest cup of lemonade. Kids are so cute. We have to protect them at all costs. If you like being a Hey, for whatever reason, I feel like I've been doing this a lot lately. I didn't end my video the right way. I just didn't film an outro because I went to the bank and I just forgot to continue recording because I don't know. I don't have a reason, but that's what I did. So yeah, this video is coming to an end. I'm sorry, everyone. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. Also, I dropped a public Spotify in case you want to follow me on that, that's going to be in the bio too. Please show up to my meetup if you can because just because the purpose of a meetup is for people to show up and yep, yeah. Let me know what videos you want to see from me next in the comments because I want all the ideas I can get. I really want to attempt to hit 50k before my birthday in October so we're going to try to put in that work put in that grind I don't know if that's going to work or if I'm going to even grind remotely but we're just going to speak it into the universe now and I'm stating my goals and then we can all laugh at me when I don't reach them because what's a better bonding experience to do than just fucking laugh at me nothing there's literally nothing okay yeah sorry this came to an abrupt ending and I will see you in my next video peace out bye Pop up, 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 up